Mario, Ruby, let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Talk About It, the Candid Conversation Show with Muriel and Ruby, where we discuss topics that are unspoken and taboo in our community. Thank you for your patience in watching our encore presentations the last few weeks. We have made some major changes and acquired our very own studio. And we are so excited to share with you some amazing guests, shows, giveaways, and tons of surprises. The best is yet to come. <laughs> we have the pleasure of having a conversation with someone who needs no introduction. She's known as the hardest working woman in radio, none other than Monica May. <laughs> <laughs> Monica will be discussing her journey in radio, television, her workshop, and her purpose with empowering mothers and daughters to create thriving relationships through healthy communication. Monica, welcome to the show. Oh my gosh. I was wondering when was it gonna be my turn. <laughs> We're so thank excited you. to have you. <laughs> thank you for having me. And thank me. you for taking time out of your busy yes. schedule oh to be gosh. with us. We thank know you. you're very busy. Thank yes. you, Muriel. It's so my beautiful. Oh my Let me goodness. have that outfit, the earrings. Look, the, yeah. I just love it. <laughs> it's yours. It's yours. We, we know a little bit about you, but we want to know about your backstory. We want to know where you're from. We want to know if you have any brothers or sisters. Can you share with us? Wow. So I am from New York. Uh, we Yay. were raised in the projects in oh. Harlem. Yeah. Okay. And my sister is about seven years older than I. It was just she and I growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, single parent home. Okay. And went to high school there. And then finally I decided, you know, I know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I didn't do any prep for college. Okay. This is a true story. I called my cousin, who was a year ahead of me, okay. and I asked her, how could I get in? Mm -hmm. really? She said, what do you mean, get in? Uh, I, I didn't take SAT. <laughs> I didn't even know about, you know, the preparation. I really didn't. Uh -huh. Hook me up. Yeah. <laughs> and um, in, in my household, we didn't talk about college. We right. didn't talk about furthering your education. Mm -hmm. We talked about work. Okay. Yes. We talked about getting a job. Yeah. Working and to pay bills. To pay bills. There you go. And I watched how my mom didn't look happy mm. working and paying okay. bills. So I said, I knew I wanted to have something exciting. My father is a very well-known bass player. He uh, oh, okay. or I said, should say well, it's because both of my parents are, are deceased. deceased. Sorry about and, that. Um, I just wanted that kind of excitement. Yes. So I decided that radio was going to be it for me. And nobody believed radio. me because I did not talk. <laughs> right. I didn't open my mouth. You were shy? I had very shy. I, I don't believe that. <laughs> very, very shy. I can relate. But my, I would have these scenarios, uh -huh. these conversations playing out in my head. Uh -huh. If I had a chance to right. do so and so and so, and that's how I pushed myself. And then I had an English teacher, mm -hmm. went to an HBCU. But I was not a very good student. <laughs> you and had a good time. I, I did. <laughs> I carried some very bad habits. Uh -oh. uh, Were you a talker? Me, you know. uh, no. Not okay. then. Not then. <laughs> but um, he threw some pebbles up at my window. Okay. okay. And he said, Robin Monica May, mm. I have not seen you in class. Mm. We have a final coming up. But before I allow you to take it, you need to come and see me. Okay. We sat down mm -hmm. and he put me in check like you would never, ever, <laughs> ever believe. Like your believe. father would. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and he said, you're wasting your time. Right. You're wasting your gift. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what? What's that? What is a gift? Right. I mean, I really had no idea. idea. And he said, I can see you in front of a television oh, or wow. behind a microphone. Oh and at God. that point, it was like everything, ping, 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 mm -hmm. ping. And he saw that in you. He you didn't it. see it in yourself. Usually that's I how it is. I saw the radio, the television piece I didn't see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he said, um, here's what you're going to do. This was... I'm pretty old. Um, this no, there were, stop there it. Was no computers. <laughs> there, were, there was, yeah. So w going to the library to search those huge books. Uh -huh. And I 
knew I wanted to go back to New York. Okay. I was in North Carolina at the time. And I didn't like the pace of it. You know, uh -huh. you can't take a city girl. No, no right. you can't. No. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> and throw me in the woods. Oh, this, we understand. This Definitely was not. not happening mm -mm. for me. But, you know, I found a school upstate New York okay. where they had both radio and television. Mm -hmm. I tried both, and I liked radio most. Okay. okay. So that's what I pursued and graduated in May, and by September was working in D.C. So oh, my gosh. I was, and doing morning radio, too. Had no experience, of course, other than the college wow. radio station. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> if I had air checks from that, oh, my God. <laughs> So, um, and then just progressed from there, okay. and you move around, uh -huh. um, wound up moving back to New York. I worked at the Playboy Club. Playboy Club? Club. Excuse me. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, I did. <laughs> but How I was, was a that? DJ there, and I, was, okay. I had my clothes uh -huh. on. And so, um, how was that? I worked during the day for okay. the city of New York uh -huh. and at night okay. at the Playboy Club. And the evening. And it was, it, it was draining. So I've yes. always been a hustler. <laughs> yes. I've from the always start. been a hustler. And um, then another radio opportunity came mm -hmm. and then I just started boom, 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 boom. There you it go. It wouldn't stop. Yeah. But I know like most people, especially like myself, you had to have thought of something else other than radio growing up. Was there any thought of anything else that Probably you wanted to do? Probably a nurse or, mm -hmm. or something like right. that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm into, I'm a Virgo, so okay. <laughs> by nature I love helping people. Okay. So I started out at, um, when I transferred, thinking about sociology. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was I going to do with that? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's not, that wasn't, mm -mm. You needed that something. wasn't my dream. Right? Yes. You know, so when I talk with teens, I always tell them, uh -huh. your dream is yours. Yes. That's right. Your dream Don't is yours. Don't let anyone take that. A lot of people are going to be mad at you for making your decisions. Yeah. It's yours. yours. Live up to them. That's right. And it's do true. you, you have one life. Yeah, That's the, the truth. the limit. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the yeah. truth. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm very, very, very pleased. If I were to go tomorrow, I've had a wonderful life. Wonderful life. I've had a but wonderful life. But you're not going to go life. tomorrow. You're going to no, help. No, no, That's no, right. You're going to help people like, like us. <laughs> you're going to help us. Because, you know, you like I was. You all are doing fantastic. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. This, this is great. The to set. hear that from you? Yes. No, the set, we everything, the spirit, as soon as you walk in the door. Thank and you, that's Monica. what people lack, especially women. There you go. Because we that's all have a story, yes. and in many instances, mm -hmm. similar stories. Right. Absolutely. But a lot of times we don't share it. That's right. You know, I like to share my story. I, over the years, I, I kept quiet, and I didn't want to say anything about being in a, an abusive marriage. Been and there. I kept quiet. Yeah. See? Well, we would have never known. We would have never story. known mm -hmm. that. No. Uh -uh. If, I didn't say, if I didn't mention that, we would have never known because a lot of us just keep quiet, and mm -hmm. I did for many, many years. So you also went through mm -hmm. something? My, um, my daughter's dad mm -hmm. and I had a very tumultuous relationship, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of physical, mm -hmm. wow. a lot of emotional, and um, I stayed for the fact of I didn't want her to come up like no, me in a single, course, in a single but it household. wasn't worth my life. Right. Yes, it wasn't. It wasn't or worth hers my life. to see that. Life. Or hers, right. yes, and just that whole vibe. Mm -hmm. And I just kept praying, please don't give me a crying baby because that's all I seem to do <laughs> is cry. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what you do experience mm -hmm. does rub off on your children. It does. And that's why I deal with, you know, mostly single moms now and their daughters. Right, you do so much. Because we have to... We have to let them know that our girls are looking up to us. They are mm -hmm. looking up to us. And they want to do everything, everything to be just mm -hmm. like us. Because we're their heroes. Yeah. We really are. And in some instances, it's not now. always a good role right. Right. There you go. that we're showing them. Right. There you go. So I, I wanted to be a you better wanted. person mm -hmm. for my little girl. That's so true. That, that's what really made me leave. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm so glad. I'm so mm -hmm. glad. I say but that too. But you know the thing that happened, it didn't give her a chance to develop a relationship. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, mm. girls especially will struggle with abandonment exactly. issues. Exactly. And so we just work through all of that. Mm -hmm. And even to this day, and as right. an adult, mm -hmm. you know, still, you work so through it between amongst between yourself. She and but I, you didn't go to therapy yeah. or anything. We not together, but, but, you but separate. Separate. Okay. Good. Yeah. Very yeah, good. Yeah. That's I had awesome. To figure out why? Why did I stay? Right. What, what good was for you. It that made me. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. Because and a lot of people don't want to go and seek help, so that's good. I wanted to figure out why I was so crazy to stay as long as I did. Because there well, was love there. It was there. convenient. Yeah. It was Conven love yes. and it was convenient because no matter what was happening, you still, yes. yeah. you still had love. Yes. You still had love, In the beginning. Mm -hmm. In the beginning. But 
you know, Afterwards. After, after a man beats on you right. so many times. That's and I'm it. not saying mm -hmm. just physically, I'm right. just saying mentally. mentally. It, it just tears you down. Right, and it carries on. So, it, it stays. You remember. You know. That's so what are your children? How, how have they flourished? Oh, amazing children. See? My son just went into the Navy. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes. I saw that on Facebook. Yes. I'm, I'm so, so happy for him. Yes. And my 15-year-old, she is doing amazing. This, one of the smartest kids I know. Not just because she's mine. She no, okay. But, Very yeah. smart. She would love her anyway. That's right. Uh -huh. Same thing with your daughter. I tell Monique that all the time. Even if you belong to somebody else, I can still see your goodness. That's, That's right. right. I would want to be cool with you. That's I don't right. want to be down. We all have goodness in us. We, we all do. do. Yes, we yes. do. We do. Sometimes it takes somebody else showing us that, though. Yeah, that's like it took um, um, Eugene Mathis, mm -hmm. Doctor Eugene mm -hmm. Mathis. Yes. I will never forget. And okay. I and I speak his name often because I well I may never ever ever see him again. I still speak his name you because maybe he'll him. maybe he'll hear it or, or right. something. And you're right. You should try to find him yes. with social media. I you should. Know? I should. Mm -hmm. I should. And I tell him, look at me that. now. Look what you did. Look, yeah, I would tell him, look what you did, but I wouldn't say, uh, look at me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, for 40 years, I was able to pursue a very thriving career. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then after a while, you know that everything is for a season. It and is. mine was a very good, long, long season. season. How many years was it? It was 40. My God. 40, 40 years? years? Yeah. My I started goodness. when I was on my 22nd birthday. So, wow. Um, wow. And, I, and I just kept going, kept rolling with it. You even worked with Tom Joyner. Oh, yes. For 13 years. 13 and years. And you know what's so funny about that? I was actually working at a station in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. okay. And I was also doing some community work uh -huh. for um, a faith-based organization. Okay. And it's St. John's downtown. Is if, if you ever look yes. them up, if you want a gay friendly, if you want a black and white friendly, okay. if you want a, a house that welcomes any Every, and everybody, St. John's with Pastor Rudy and Juanita Rasmus. Okay. Wow. Go check them out. The church that Beyonce and, and her family her grew okay. up in, and they still attend oh, whenever really? they're in town. Yeah. So there was a lot of work that we did with homeless people. Okay. A lot of work that I did specifically with women who were homeless mm -hmm. and teaching them um, how to find that spark again. Okay. And communicate mm -hmm. jobs and that right. whole thing. Okay. So I, I was really doing fine, but Star kept sending mm -hmm. me these emails <laughs> that would say, you know, <laughs> thinking about it, uh -huh. would you? Pulled would you, you right ever? in. And you know, one thing um, that never leaves you is that once you've been bitten by that radio That's bug, it. And Keep then the position back. opened up um, for community affairs. Mm -hmm. And that's really what they hired me to do, community affairs and a couple of newscasts. But you did more than morning. that. Yes. Let me tell you something. But I wasn't hired to do all of that. Uh, but that's it you. It kind of just fell Came, yes. into right. my lap. Mm -hmm. And I felt so bad for the young lady who was doing it for all those years prior to right. me. Oh, my goodness. But whatever God has for you is for, for you. Is for you. Mm -hmm. And so I, I took that position, wrapped it around my uh -huh. hand, my heart, <laughs> put everything into it. You really it, did. And for 13 years, really rocked for that station. That yeah. Was but it was time. It yeah, was time. For and then when, when Tom left, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't sure the direction. Okay. And I knew what I wanted to mm -hmm. do. Right. And I so said, you now, did you. Yeah. You know, Which so I, re I got married. Uh, yes. Congratulations. About seven years ago, I went on a blind date. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did. That was awesome. And it, and and it I, stuck. Uh, it stayed. <laughs> we have not left each other's side. <laughs> That's wonderful. In those seven years. And so four years ago, we decided that now was the time. You look yeah. so and good together, did. too. Mm -hmm. oh, and, so and happy. And it feels good. good. It feels good. He's a Chicago native. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. And a chef. So we have oh, a, wow. a, yeah, we have oh. a restaurant. How do you not gain weight? Um... <laughs> I, food has never really? been, uh-uh. I just sometimes get kind of lazy. Yeah, <laughs> we all do. I think so we I, all do. I have to keep keep moving, mm -hmm. and I think that's what helps. A so does bit. he have a restaurant? We or own catering a catering service. company, okay. and uh, so here's what we were doing. <laughs> when we met, um, I really began focusing in on let's spill the tea. That's okay. why I have my tea cup. I was going to ask about that. Mm -hmm. tea yeah, cup. that's yeah. cute. Thank you. So um, I try to wear this so mm -hmm. people will ask me, what is, what is, what is the teapot? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So tell us about it. Um, so when we met, I, I wanted to do, I, I had this vision mm -hmm. of working with young ladies okay. and, their, and their moms. Mm -hmm. right? Because I gave, I was 
taking a shower this morning and I was saying, Mom, I'm so sorry. I still Aww. apologize mm -hmm. for how much heartache I bought her because I was such a truant. Right, kid. right. Huh? So bad. I was. I was. I was. That's this one right here. <laughs> a, little, a, little, a, little, a little too free. You know? Uh -uh. Doing my own thing and things. And, look, you know. as I say, I, have, I don't look like what I've been through. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. But if you ask me, I'll tell you. Yeah. So, um, so I really wanted to start these um, heavy conversations. Okay. okay. But how do you begin those? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to get them trust in each other That's right. again, yes. and you have to teach one how to listen, yes, and the other one how to hear, yeah. and then you have to exchange mm -hmm. that, and you have to give them talking points, mm -hmm. and you have to give them space. That's nice. So I kept renting space or going to a community center, right. mm -hmm. and then one time God said, "What about if y'all had your own space That's right. where He could." have the back part as, you know, where he does all of his food. That's right. Because we were, that's he nice. was using various Locations, places. Yeah. And, and that's money, Spending of money, course. yes. It's expensive. And uh, I, so I started looking for a house to turn into a tea room. Okay. Oh, that but would the conversion nice. of that kitchen was just, it was it's just too ridiculous. much work and too much yeah, money. too much money. Okay. And if we weren't going to own the property or live there or something, it didn't make sense. Why put mm -hmm. all that in? So I had the realtor change directions, and I, at the same time she did that, I had a vision, and I called her, and I said, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And in three days, she found it. happened. Mm -hmm. So that's where we are. We're in Metro, to happen. Metro West. Uh huh. Okay, and so the front part of the house is for the tea. Okay. okay. And we do, now we're doing fathers and their daughters. Oh, that oh, is wonderful. Good. Yes. That is good. Oh, my gosh. The emotion that comes out of these dads once mm -hmm. they hear mm -hmm. that my name. daughter might be afraid of me if I Aww. raise my voice, or she misses me when I'm gone, okay. or she really wants to go on a date with right. me, or she wishes I would spend more time, time with her, her, or that's why she's always so angry. That so is real nice, Monica. That's yeah. needed. That's so, real so nice. So that's what we do. So yeah, they are soft skills, mm -hmm. right. you know. Um, but it's needed. Mm -hmm. Start. We deal with the mental health part of okay. it too, because okay. a lot of our girls are going through depression. Okay. And so um, I you started have a this thing come called. In? Sorry. Oh, I don't do anything by myself. Okay. That's right. I always have a mental health Very person. Very good. Oh, okay. There. And we what, need that. Yeah. Whether it's if I'm doing a room full of women, mm -hmm. it's always a female. Okay. And if I'm doing the dads and their daughters, it's a guy. You yeah. A male. Okay. And so. Um, the, the main thrust of that is to hit as many people as you can. Right. So I had a guy come to me not too long ago mm -hmm. and ask me what did I want to do. He said, what's your vision for right. the tea? And I said, just to tap into as many families as, you can. as I can. And he said, well, what about if I gave you and this is what we could do and mm -hmm. da 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 da. Mm -hmm. So, we yeah. incorporated so that. that's what we're doing. FEC has come through for me, Rod oh Love. Oh my gosh. And, um, has just really been a blessing. So we're doing something called ten by ten times three, okay. ten girls, okay. ten moms, okay. in three different segments of our community. Love it. So we'll do it at Popka, Pine Hills. Isn't that something? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you love it. Share that with us so we can Please. we can I will, post and it and share. Over. And and so we're doing everything from head to toe. Okay. And I do mean the mental. Yes. Okay. All of those things that are listed there. We're going to yes. talk about suicide. Okay. Yes. Because our Good. girls are experiencing that. Yes. Moms may be too. The moms are experiencing it, I'm sure. Yes. You know, and during COVID, <sighs> this thing has torn apart so many black Everyone. families. Everyone, so yes. many. And in our community, I was talking to one executive director mm -hmm. for um, a charter school. Okay. And she said 75% of her students' households mm -hmm. have been struck. Loss of jobs, yes. furlough, yes, true. Yes. less hours, mm -hmm. and they're starving. The kids are starving. Right. Probably a lot of them are homeless as well. You know, so here we go. Yes. So what is that doing here? Right. So I was going to put it off until next year. Mm -hmm. No, You know, thought no. it might be safer. But no, you have to God said, no, you've no. got to do this now. now. Push forward right now. There. So we'll spend 10 weeks in each area. Okay. A lot of it will be. Um, These are workshops? Th a lot of it, the workshops okay. and the people that I'll bring in to speak with the girls. Mm -hmm. A lot of it will be via Zoom. Okay. So we won't have to do that face-to-face. -face. Face. Okay. But we will do face-to-face because -face uh, every now and then, because mm -hmm. I want the moms to see me. Okay. I want them to feel me, right, I want absolutely. them to understand that I understand. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I want to that's help. That's right. Absolutely. Oh, that's so wonderful. That's, You're doing it's great. It's called Let's Spill the Tea. Let's Spill the Tea. That's Perfect name. I love the tea Perfect pie. name. Very you nice. Know, yeah. Thank you. You're doing yeah. awesome yeah. work. So Which, that, that's what I do. Very good. Keep it going. I want to touch on, I know we were discussing earlier regarding mental health because I suffer as well. Yes. And you t touched on you suffered a little bit with uh, depression. Yeah. Um, shortly after um, I left 
my uh, daughter's dad, okay. I realized that something wasn't right. Right. I, I wasn't getting up. I wasn't doing much. Mm -hmm. I thought it might have been, um, what is it called after a baby? Postpartum, Postpartum depression. depression. But this lasted longer. Okay. And then my mom had a heart attack. And, oh. I, and I had moved back to New York to have the baby okay. after I was about seven months. And can you believe in that time, I had no prenatal care. Oh, my goodness. What? That's another topic that I hit on. So I just, I, I, I know I was wrong, yeah. but there was no insurance. There was no. Nothing. Right. He had it. Care. Yes. But it, it's just a. It's a, a long bad story. Yeah. yeah, bad situation. So when I went to New York, that was the first thing that I did. Got into a program. Okay. Because I didn't have any money of at course. that time. And sometimes that's why women stay. Most exactly. of the time. You know? And I so know that was one of mine. I realized that I had to keep pushing myself mm -hmm. to, to fight. It's like a hole you go into it's when true. you're feeling oh, depressed. It's true. And you sink deeper and deeper and, and deeper, deeper and deeper. But I had to live for this little baby. Thank you goodness to, you shook it. You shook I it off. I had to. You know? And then... Um, a mistake was made in the delivery. I was mm. on welfare, okay. and um, with no prenatal care, they couldn't tell that the baby was breached. Oh. And in the process of her coming out, she tumbled, and she came out fine. Okay, but um, they left the placenta. Oh, oh my God! And so, while I could have had a lawsuit when you're what? on welfare, yes. you, they don't. No, nobody wanted to talk with me. Nothing at but, all. But um, I will tell you this: I struggled for about ten months trying to figure out what's wrong yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so once we figured out that that, that was the the physical oh. issue mm -hmm. um everything started coming back together there's so much in there's my, so much <laughs> in yeah, my back story this, this yes. short period of time that we have is not even enough, enough to talk about it to talk about but you know what mm -hmm. you get the gist yeah. yes we do <laughs> oh yes just yeah. everybody has everyone has story. Story. Mm -hmm. but i wanted to be happy and whole for absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And she deserved that. And yes, she's she a does. beautiful she young lady. She deserved mm -hmm. that. Thank you. She really, really has been um, a, a great daughter for me. And, you know, so she's, for 10 years, was pursuing her own thing. Okay. And then she heard it in my voice, and I heard it in hers, <laughs> that we really missed each, each other. other. Oh, but she kept gosh. saying, you're married now. Yeah. It's this okay. Not, and that's what I said. You better it's come okay. on. <laughs> you're my child. So, come on. yeah, so she wanted to come home so we could grow. Good yeah. the tea, mm -hmm. yeah. So we could start Monica May Communications, Isn't that something? Yeah. and she could start um, her business as well. She's okay. a speech pathologist. Oh. That's amazing. So that's what. So that she, works well. It works great. It does. Yeah, oh my gosh, there's so many. It's such synergy mm -hmm. with us, and and she's just such a great person. That's beautiful. I'm glad she came mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that she's going to stay, and right. I don't even expect that. Right. But for now, glad to have her. I wanted her here, mm -hmm. and she wanted to be here. Yes, so that was yes. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where we are right now. So the depression, and it comes and goes. Yeah. <laughs> it comes and goes. Yes, it does. You know, now I'm on a medication that now I'm, I'm happy to say I've been able to half it, you okay. know, okay. according to my doctor. Yeah. Um, and it came shortly after I made the decision to leave the radio mm. station because there were some things that were said and done that oh, really that weren't hurt. hurt. Mm -hmm. That really hurt. Yeah. And um, I left on my own. Um, because I, I wanted more, yes. and I wanted to um, just be in a different space. Right. And then COVID, mm -hmm. and then it was just back to back. Was just to so back. many, many, mm -hmm. many things. And so my daughter was still living with us. She's on her own now. Okay. But she said one night she mm -hmm. woke up, and I actually had a knife in my hand. Oh my gosh. And I was in the kitchen, and I was walking in circles. Oh, oh my god. And so I immediately. I called need to a therapist the right. next morning, and I said, I'm, I'm, I don't think I was trying to harm myself. I was probably trying to cut a lemon or something <laughs> like that. I couldn't remember what, what I was, it was doing. So I was You're just walking, walking around. Circles. Yeah, because your mind is fuzzy. Oh it's just, it, yeah. For the long, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fuggy, fuzzy and foggy. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's funny. I heard God clearly say to me, you need to move now. You need okay. to pack do it now. Yes. You need to do you it have now. To listen. And I had to listen. You have to. I, I, I there was, it, 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 yeah, it was time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was you time. And loved. I have not looked back. That's I really good. have not That's looked good. back. I don't, people say, you don't need to. do you miss it? 
I really don't. It's in you. You're, you're sharing I, I'm it. I'm still doing it. Right. You know, and you're I, shining while doing it. I have. Wow. This is, there's no other time like now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm only going to walk this path one Once. time. That's it. That's it. You better do it and you better do, do it. Make well. it count. Well as mm -hmm. you can. Yes. So yes. I, and you have. I, yeah. So We've even through all of those things, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, diabetes, um, I'm starting better. I'm getting better with self-care. Yeah, I know I it's hard. Because I am starting to Sometimes walk more. Hard. Good and, for you. And taking time away from, even yeah. time away from my husband. Yeah, you, you need your time. Well, I wouldn't do those things before. Mm -hmm. All of those things, been through verbal abuse, physical, emotional, mm, psychological, yes. all of those That's things. That's right. Because you're not, and you're not by yourself. No. That's why we do this show. We're not by ourselves. I we know that. I love this. Just candid you know that. conversation. That's, That's right. it. That's it. You know? Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Just talk about it. <laughs> you know? Yes. The other thing that mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people shy away from is because in our culture, mm -hmm. seeking therapy, I know. going to a doctor, mm -hmm. You know, right. we, we just don't do that. We don't right. do it. We don't want to start saying, you're cra oh, she's crazy. Something's wrong with her. Or why do I need to go speak to someone about my problems? I can take care of it at home. Evidently not. No. You know, so no. if I can look right into that camera mm -hmm. and say, if I've done it, and yes. on more than one occasion, mm -hmm. okay, then I think you need to. That's too. right. And find the right medication. And, and with women, sometimes mm -hmm. the medication uh -huh. cuts back on your libido. Mm -hmm. You gotta mm -hmm. work through that. Yeah, Figure it out. There are ways to Figure do it out. that. Right. Mm -hmm. So you know, just just work it until this is right. That's not right. cloudy anymore. Not wanting to jump off a bridge. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, not want to get underneath the <laughs> bridge. <laughs> right. Yeah. On the bed. Right. You know? That's tough. Yeah. So yeah. Monica, you, know? you are loved. You know that we have loved you for years. Many years. Thank you yeah. are. A community leader, mm -hmm. you really thank you, are. Thank you, You're thank everywhere. You. I don't. Wherever we go, <laughs> we see <laughs> Monica. Hey, Monica. Hey, girl. I mean, anywhere and everywhere, oh, we see you, you. Thank and you, you are you. always shining so bright. Just With a beautiful smile on your face. For everything God. that you do. <laughs> thank you so much for being able to do it. Yes. And for having a heart for the community. Yes, that's right. Yes, that, that's, that's right. who I am. Yes, that's right. You and, are. And when I was in Houston and <laughs> dealing with the homeless population. <laughs> If I could be on the other side of town and I'd see one of my homeless people, hey, Miss Robin, mm -hmm. how you doing? Uh -huh. So my cousin was in the executive pastor there. She uh -huh. said, how you know these people? <laughs> Where you know, know them from? from? I said, I work with them. That's right. And, and she did too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they, I don't know. I love people. Yeah, yes. it and shows. And if I can find a way to help you, I'm You'll do it. Do it. Yeah. That's the rent that we owe. That's yes. the space I love that. that. That's occupy. right. That's right. You better. Mm -hmm. That's right. You better use what God gave <laughs> Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yes. Very right. good. That's right. <laughs> you know, we've actually come to the end of the show. No. But oh, right? I know. before <laughs> I know. I know. Before that happens, I want to have a candid minute with you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell me if you could go back in time, what would you tell your eighteen year old self? Stop giving you mm. away. Mm. Stop giving your mental spirit, your heart, wow. your body, yes. your soul yes. to wrong people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that could be to wrong guys, yes. wrong girls, mm -hmm. girlfriends, yes. um, you know, jobs. Mm -hmm. Just love on you more. Take yourself serious. Yes. You are God's most precious gift. Yes. A pearl. Mm. You know? And when that oyster is open yes. and that beauty is revealed, uh -huh. receive it, know it, and own it. Own it. I never you owned it who I was. Mm -hmm. Own it. I do now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what I would tell my younger that's self. That is my wonderful. My 18-year-old self. Yes. yes. That's a good question. Thank yes. you. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for having me. You're welcome. Can y'all come? Just can y'all come and do one take live with me? Uh, Why not? Of course. Ooh. Thank Why you not? for the invite. We appreciate the invite. Of course. <laughs> of course. So mine is only fifteen minutes. Okay, that's okay. Well, that's good for me. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this works for you. Yes, it works it's for me. It's pulling you out of it's, uh, my comfort it zone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really you is. You all are doing a fantastic Thank job. We so appreciate much, you. We have Ruby. great leaders like oh you. My God. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Ruby what you do. Muriel. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Your mom must be so proud. Your family. Rest her soul. Yes. Mm. Mm. Thank you. That's another story. Tell the, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell the viewers how they can get in contact with you. So on um, face, everything is Ask Monica May. 
Okay. Ask Monica May at Gmail, Facebook, everything. Okay. Ask Monica May. And then my website is Monica May Communications .com. Okay. okay. Any new things coming out? Just that 10 by 3 okay. Okay. that we're working in 10FAM. Uh, okay. And actually, mm -hmm. if you reach out to me, ask Monica May at mm -hmm. gmail.com. The girls we're looking for are 14 to 16. Okay. And the moms, I, I'm looking for them in single parent homes or even if it's, it's mother and father. Okay. There, if you just want to have a better relationship with your daughter, okay. absolutely. That's who we're looking for. I love we it. need more of that. Mm -hmm. yes. Listen, we just want to say thank you, thank you, <laughs> yes, thank, thank you for you. being thank here. Thank you for allowing me the platform, ladies. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thanks for everything you're doing in the community yes. and good luck. Yes. Let's build the team. Thank you so much. <laughs> if we can do anything, good. please yes, contact yes. us. Oh, I already have some things in mind. <laughs> good. <laughs> we want to thank you the viewers for tuning in and joining us this week. Please tune in next Tuesday at 6 p.m. for another incredible guest right here from our community. In closing, there is a quote that says, most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. Communication is key, even when it is uncomfortable or uneasy. Monica believes that healthy communication is the key to living the most fulfilling and effective life. We are real sisters sharing real stories within our community. We thank you for tuning in to talk about it, the Candid Conversation Show with Muriel and Ruby. Go, go. Come on.